हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी कंसाइज मैथमेटिक्स चैप्टर फाइव क्वारिटिक इक्वेशन एंड वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व एक्सरसाइज फाइव फे राइट सो बिफोर आई स्टार्ट दिस एक्सरसाइज आई वॉन्ट यू टू एक्स अंडरस्टैंड फ्यू थिंग्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू मस्ट नो वॉट डज इट मीन बाय द डिस्क्रिमिनेंट राइट दे इज ए फॉर्मूला बी स्क्वायर माइनस फोर ए सी right that you need to understand and that you need to know that when in what condition we are going to use those formula right so there is a term called discriminant let me write discriminant what does it mean that for any quadratic equation i am just writing qe for example ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 where this a is not equal to 0 then the remaining expression we can say b square minus 4ac and this is called discriminant d i s c r i m i n a n t right and this is generally denoted by d letter right so we can say d is equal to b square minus 4ac let me write this explanation also for you so let me say for the quadratic equation friends i am explaining this because this concept is going to be used in this upcoming exercise almost in every question right so i want you to understood this kind of a concept before moving ahead right so for the quadratic equation let's say ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 where a is not equal to 0 the expression the expression b square minus 4ac is called what is called discriminant m i n a n t right and is generally 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 denoted denoted by the letter by the letter d right so d is equal to i am writing again for you b square minus 4 ac you need to by heart this formula right if you attempt almost i think 5 10 question then this is going to be very handy for you i mean this is going to be very easy formula to be learned right that's number 1 now there is another term which is going to be used and that is you need to understand what is real and unequal there is also called equal and there is a equation which we also called as imaginary right so these kind of or we can also say not real so there are few terms that we need to understand also and friends there is something called rational number as well rational number and there is one more term called irrational number right so i am going to quickly explain you this right in my another video i will explain all this in detail but for this video i am explaining in uh, a bit short so now another thing you need to understand before solving this kind of a question is you need to examine the nature the nature of roots what does it mean it means let's say if any quadratic equation i am just writing in short qe means quadratic equation let's say ax square plus bx plus c 
is equal to zero, where a, b, and c are real number. Okay, real number means this could be one, two, three, four, any number, right? And also a is not equal to zero. Then, as I explained, we have a formula b square minus 4ac is equal to 0. Now, now the concept here is if after solving this equation, right, I am explaining again, the concept is after solving this equation b square minus 4ac, if the result is equal to 0, right, then this will be considered as roots are real because there are some number and this is also considered as equal because the value well, let's say whatever the value comes after solving this will be equal to zero right let's say this is 10 and after multiplying or solving all this equation, this is again 10 minus 10 is equal to 0. I am just giving an example, right? Now, another one will be in case b square minus 4ac is greater than 0. What does it mean? Means after solving this equation, if the result of b square minus 4ac is greater than 0, let's say 5, which is greater than 0 then we can say roots are real of course and unequal because this is not equal to 0 right and the third one is in case b square minus 4ac is smaller than 0 then in that case, we can say roots are imaginary. Okay. So here the concept is if you are solving anything and the result is in negative, then these roots are imaginary and we can say those are not real. So you need to understand these three concepts. This is one of the very important thing because question not only ask you about to solve the quadratic equation, but they will also ask to identify which kind of quadratic equation it is, right? And as I said few moments back, there is something called rational number, okay? There is something called rational number and there is something also called irrational number irrational number when these two things comes into the question or whenever these things of when these two things comes in your mind always remember this is nothing but a real number okay so you can use it like every number whether is rational or irrational is a real number let me just write it let's say every number whether it is rational or irrational and that is a real number right further let me explain you that every this is just i'm explaining this in more detail otherwise it's not it's not required i mean it to be uh, uh, if you ask me very precisely but i'm right writing this every rational number is a real number Similarly, every irrational number is a real number, right? So,
so every rational number is a real number and every irrational number is also a real number so that's all for explaining you in terms of a theory before i am going to start the actual questions so these are the question now we are in position to explain and to understand this question right so let me start the question now so the first question is saying without solving comment upon the nature of roots of each of the following equation right so if you ask me i can explain you easily because this seems to be a real and equal this also seems to be real equal i mean i am just calculating because even if you see if you solve this that's going to be greater than 0 so just by seeing this equation you can also say that if you solve this 7x or 9x or 2 that will be greater than 0 similarly for second and third but in case of a four there are chances that when you subtract or once you solve this after subtracting the value comes from here to minus this it could be negative so that could be a real and negative value right but in case of a fifth this is going to be definitely an irrational or unequal or in another word this is a real unequal so this i can say without even solving but i want this to solve for you so that you will be having a better understanding about how and what basis i am deriving this conclusion right so let me solve this first question is saying so first point is saying 7x square minus 9x plus 2 is equal to 0 let me solve it so this is the question i have already written now here if you can see what is a so here a is equal to 7 friends before solving this kind of a question you have to make sure to write the value of all the data which you are going to use in this question right otherwise if you are attempting directly putting the value in question in formula then is going to be a confusion for you so always write the data and this also help the examiner to understand that you know how to solve this that is one of the important step as well right so this is going to be very helpful for you so i have written here a is equal to 7 b is equal to what minus 9 i am just taking the numeric value and c is what c is 2 right remember we have a formula d is equal to what b square minus 4 ac right b is what minus 9 minus 9 whole square minus 4 a is what 7 into 7 into c c is what 2 if you solve this 9 and 81 minus minus plus this will become 81 and if you solve this and 4 j 20 20 and 2 this is 56 and further if you solve this will be 25 So in this case we can see 25 is not equal to 0 that means this is first this root is unequal and since these are the numbers so this will be of course real you can also say this is also a perfect square s q u a r e my writing is sometimes very bad right so this is all about your first part now second part of question number 1 is saying to solve equation 2 which is 6x square minus 13x plus 4 let me solve it 6x square minus 13x plus 4 is equal to 0 let me put all the values first so here a is equal to 6 b is equal to minus 13 and c is equal to what 4 now the formula is d is equal to b square minus 4ac if we put the value b square means what minus 13 square minus 4 into a is what 6 into c is what 4 
this will become 169 minus 96 is equal to 73 which is a positive value number one which is greater than zero number two so this is also a number that means this is a real positive and what this is not a perfect square of any number so that's one so we cannot write and of course this is unequal right so the property of this equation is roots are real positive and unequal right so this is about second part of question number one let's see part three of question number one which is 25 x square minus 10 x plus one is equal to zero so let me write third part which is 25 x square minus 10 x plus 1 is equal to 0 now here again a is equal to 25 b is equal to minus 10 and c is equal to 1 formula is d is equal to b square minus 4 ac where b is what minus 10 square minus 4 4 into 25 into c is what 1 if you solve this 10 10 100 positive minus minus positive and uh, minus 25 4 ja 100 now here the answer is 0 which means what this is 0 equal to 0 right that means this is matching condition of equal right and we have a numbers so another one will be this is real so the roots are equal and real so that's all about part three now the next part of question number one part four is x square plus two square root of three x minus nine is equal to zero let me solve it so the fourth part is saying x square plus 2 square root of 3x minus 9 is equal to 0. Now here a is what? a is 1, b is 2 square root of 3 and c is equal to minus 9. We have a formula d is equal to b square minus 4ac where b is what 2 square root of 3 whole square minus 4 into 1 into minus 9 square root of 2 is what 4 square root of square root 3 is 3 minus 4 into 1 which is 4 now here minus 4 and minus 3 will become 36 so let me write like okay let me write this first so this is 12 minus and this minus plus so this will become plus then 36 is equal to 48 now this 48 is greater than 0 this means what this means first this is a real number and this is unequal right so this is all about question number first ka fourth part now let's go to fifth part fifth part is saying x square minus ax minus b square is equal to 0 so, so let me solve it fifth question is x square minus ax minus b square is equal to 0 now here a is what 1 b is what minus a and c is what minus b square now if we solve this d is equal to b square minus 4 ac this will become what b is minus a that means minus 
a square minus 4 into a is what 1 and then c is minus b square if you solve this further a square means minus minus plus this will become a square plus minus and minus will become plus and this will be 4b square so on basis of this equation we can say what we have a number here so that's why this is a real and this is not equal to zero that means this is unequal right and this is your answer that's about part fifth let's see part number six which is the last part of question number one and this saying 2x square plus 8x plus 9 is equal to 0. Let's solve it. So, sixth part is saying 2x square plus 8x plus 9 is equal to 0. Now, here a is equal to 2, b is equal to 8 and c is equal to 9. Now we have formula d is equal to b square minus 4ac then b is what 8 square minus 4 into 2 into 9. This is become 64 minus 72 and that is minus 8 which is smaller than 0. Condition of smaller than 0 will be these root are not real right or we can also say these roots are imaginary these roots are imaginary so that's all about your question number one let's see question number two of exercise 5a from quadratic equation chapter 5 of concise mathematics so the question 2 is saying find the value of p if the following quadratic equation have equal roots equal roots means what means this is equal to 0 right so px square minus within bracket p minus 2x plus 1 is equal to 0 that's 1 and second one is x square plus within bracket p minus 3x plus p is equal to 0 and this is your 2013 board exam question so let me solve it for you so this is quadratic equation quadratic equation question 2 of exercise 5a and question 2 first part and that is 4x square minus p minus 2x plus 1 is equal to 0 right so to solve this first of all we need to understand what the data we have so here a is equal to 4 b is equal to minus within bracket p minus 2 and c is equal to 1 now we have formula d is equal to b square minus 4 ac so here we have within bracket minus p minus 2 whole square minus 4 into 4 into 1 friends here you need to understand one formula which is a minus b whole square is equal to a square plus b square minus 2ab so on that basis if we solve this will become what see one thing more this minus square root so this will become what plus so you just need to solve this one based on this formula this is going to be very simple then right so this will become what if you solve this will become p square minus 4p plus 4 and this will become minus 16 so this will become 
p square minus 4p and minus 12 now in question is saying roots are equal roots are equal what does it mean it means this equation is going to be equal to 0 so we can say d is equal to 0 and this is my d if you see d and then d and d is equal to 0 that means what that means p square minus 4p minus 12 is equal to 0 now you need to break this equation in such a way that you solve this equation for that you need to see that minus 12 if you multiply this will be also the same value so that you can if add then that will become minus 4 so the best will be minus 6 into 2 so that will become minus 12 and similarly if you write minus 4 is equal to minus 6 plus 2 and that will also become 4 so we will qualify this and we'll qualify this as well so that's why this equation will become p square minus 6p plus 2p minus 12 is equal to 0 right i have basically solved this equation using this technique now we can also consider here that p we can say as a common so this will become p minus 6 similarly here also p minus 6 is equal to 0 and here we have 2 now we have two things p plus 2 and p minus 6 so if we put this equation then p plus 2 is equal to 0 that is p is equal to minus 2 or p minus 6 is equal to 0 that is p is equal to 6 therefore the value of p which has been asked in this question is 6 and minus 2 and that is the answer of your first part right now let's see the answer of second part and second part there is an equation which is x square plus within bracket p minus 3 x plus p this is going to be very easy let me solve it again let me solve it so x square plus p minus 3 plus p is equal to 0 now here a is what a is equal to 1 b is equal to p minus 3 and c is a p now we have formula d is equal to b square minus 4 ac now b is what p minus 3 square minus 4 into 1 into p now again you need to remember the same formula i have explained a minus b whole square is equal to what a square plus b square minus 2ab using this formula if you solve this further this will become what equal right now further if you solve this p square plus 9 minus 6p minus 4p is equal to 0 because in equation anyway is saying uh roots are this will be p square minus 10p plus 9 right now this is the quadratic equation if you solve this this will be very easy then p square minus 9p minus 1p plus 9 is equal to 0 and here p minus 9 is common in both the place so here what will be the value this is p minus 1 is equal to 0 then we have 
p minus 9 and p minus 1 is equal to 0. So p minus 9 is equal to 0 then p will become 9 and p minus 1 is equal to 0 if we consider then p is equal to 1. So therefore the value of p is 1 and 9 and that is the answer of your second part so this is all about question number 2 let's see question number 3 question number 4 is saying find the value of m if the following equation has equal roots equal roots again whatever the value come that will become equal to 0 right so the equation is m minus 2 within bracket then x square minus within bracket 5 plus mx plus 16 is equal to 0. So let me write the equation first. Now question number 3 is saying the equation 3x square minus 12x plus n minus 5 is equal to 0 has equal roots mean this is again equal to 0. Find the value of n. Right. So this n value you need to find it out. Okay. So let me write the question. Question number 3 of exercise 5a so this is saying 3x square minus 12x plus n minus 5 is equal to 0 now here a is what a is 3 b is equal to minus 12 and c is equal to n minus 5 friends you need to be very focused while writing this kind of a thing when there is some numeric value along with the this n right so here c is n minus 5 now we have formula d is equal to b square minus 4ac if we solve this b is what minus 12 square root minus 4 into 3 into n minus 5 right not 12 into 12 is 144 negative negative positive minus 12 into n minus 5 further if we solve this will become 144 minus 12 into n which, which will which will be 12 n and then minus minus plus 12 5 just 60 and this will become 204 minus 12 n since roots are equal means this 204 minus 12 n is equal to 0 so let me just write so since uh, in question is written roots are equal what does it mean it means therefore 204 minus 12 n is equal to 0 then 12 n is equal to 204 and then n is equal to 204 oblique 12 and that will become 17 therefore the value of n is equal to 17 and that is your answer for question number 3 it's very easy only the trick is you need to understand the value of a b and c i think in this question this c is the trick here right now let's see question number four so question number four equation is m minus 2 x square minus within bracket 5 plus m x plus 16 is equal to 0 right now here what is a a is equal to m minus 2 b is equal to minus friend this is the trick right b is what not 5 plus m b is minus 5 plus m right you need to be very cautious while selecting A, B and C. That's why friend I am again repeating. I have already repeated the same thing in my 
same video few moments back again repeating always write a b c before putting this value in the formula right and the c will be 16 now we have a formula d is equal to b square minus 4 a c if we put this this will become minus 5 within a bracket plus m and then square minus 4 into m minus 2 into 16 right now again here you can see a formula a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus b square plus 2ab so on this basis if you solve the equation this will become what 55 jet 25c minus square root of minus will be again plus so you just need to solve this equation so that will become what 25 plus 10m plus m square minus 64 m plus 128 how does this 64 plus 128 come 16 4 ja 64 then 64 into m 64 m and 64 into 2 which is 128 now if you solve this further this is m square minus 54 m plus 153 now in question is saying that roots are equal what does it mean this means d is equal to 0 that means m square minus 54 m plus 153 is equal to 0 now this is the quadratic equation to solve this we need to segregate this equation in such a way that if we multiply that will become 153 and if we add that will become 54 so if we say 153 this part we can segregate that into minus 51 into minus 3 then that will become 153 and similarly for this minus 154 we can say minus 51 minus 3 so this will become minus 54 now considering these two value if we put in equation then we can say m minus 51 at both the places m minus 51 as a common here in this equation and this will become m minus 3 and that is equal to 0 so here we have a two condition one is m minus 51 that's 1 and another is m minus 3 this is equal to 0 then m minus 51 is equal to 0 then m is equal to 51 that's 1 and in case of this one m minus 3 then the m is equal to 3 therefore the value of m will be 51 and 3 so that's all about question number 4 now we have last question of this exercise which is question number 5 so the last question of exercise 5a which is 5 and that is find the value of k for which the equation 3x square minus 6x plus k is equal to 0 has distinct and real root right so and that is again question of 2015 board exam let me solve it so in question the given quadratic equation is 3x square minus 6x plus k is equal to 0 right now here a is equal to 3 b is equal to minus 6 and c is equal to k 
Now we have formula D is equal to B square minus 4 AC. That means B is what? Minus 6 square minus 4 into 3 into K. And therefore, this will become 36 minus 12 K. And that is D is equal to. Now, if you notice for real, first of all, this is real and for distinct root d is greater than 0 this value 36 minus 12k is greater than 0 so we can write this as 36 minus 12k greater than 0 therefore we can also say 36 greater than 12k and therefore this will become 36 by 12 greater than k therefore we can say 12 and 12 12 3 ja 36 and therefore we can say 3 is greater than k or we can say k is smaller than 3 and that is your answer so here the trick is for the real and root d is greater than 0.